What does trance mean to you? Trance to me is a feeling. It's a, it's the reason why I got into music in the first place. It's a, an emotion which you get when you listen to a certain style of music and it kind of connects and takes you to a place within you um, that you can only really access when listening to this style of music. The world is about to end and you're organizing the last ever party. Which DJs would you book to play? I would book everybody that I've ever met on tour, uh, all the cool DJs that I've come into contact with. And also I'll just book everybody that wants to play because it's the last party. So everybody's invited, surely. What is your greatest fear? My greatest fear has to be fake plants. Ah! What is your earliest memory? I can't actually remember. Actually waking up this morning. No, wait, I woke up yesterday as well. Have you ever said I love you and not meant it? Nope. What is your guiltiest pleasure? I think this one has to be having a bath with candles and smelly stuff as well. What is your all time favorite movie? Well, I'm not really a massive movie guy anymore. I used to watch movies a lot when I was younger, but I think being forced to watch movies on flights for so many years, um, most of them B movies and not that great, has kind of made me fall out of love with the whole being forced to feel emotions when they decide. And these days I choose to keep myself happy by staying away from all the people choosing how I'm going to feel. If you could change one thing about the world, what would you change? Well, right now it has to be COVID. I think uh, that's obviously a situation affecting many people, but the bigger picture is just treating everybody and everything with respect. In a film about your life, who would play you? Oh dear, um, Mr. Bean, that says it all. You're only allowed one alcoholic drink for the rest of your life. What would you choose? I would choose a cold beer on a hot day. If you were an animal, what would you be? I would be a cow because the noise that he makes sounds a bit like my surname without an R on the end. And they like to sit around the field all day, munching on grass, farting. Which track from your back catalogue best finds you and your sound? Nadia Ali, Love Story. That has many aspects of my previous sound. It has the vocal chops, dirty bass line, but also melodic tension build and impact and release and a beautiful vocal which was sung by me obviously not when did you last cry and why maybe when i went mountain biking recently and we went on a long route which was longer than i expected and i think i went a bit too fast early on and then towards the end i was just completely drained of energy i hit the wall and I think a little tear might have run down my face. If you weren't a DJ producer, what would you be? Well, when I was young, I probably would have said a footballer or something along those lines, um, or maybe some other kind of creative industry, such as a graphic designer. But I think these days, anything that doesn't involve computers, screens, so I'd like to do something that gets away from that confinement. And also working with other people more often, because often, obviously, we spend a lot of time on the road on our own. We spend a lot of time isolated in a studio on our own. So anything that involves collaboration with people in the first person. What is your favorite country to travel in? That's a question I guess asked a lot. And my answer is always whichever country I'm in at the time when somebody's asking me that question. The top three trans tracks of all time. Man, don't do this to me. Um. Well, I always used to say Sandy Kleinenberg, my lexicon was my most favorite track based purely on the fact that it came at the right time for me to hear something like that. It encompassed melodic elements with coolness and the more progressive laid back vibe, which I'm searching for again now. Number two would be Steve Halstrip. Uh, the Thrill Seekers Synesthesia, I think that's how you say it, I've never actually known. Um, but yeah, that was a track again, the right time, beautiful melody, it's just timeless. Number three would be the Doppler effect, Beauty Hides in the Deep. It's not a huge popular tune per se, but it's, it's something which really does connect with the listener, with me sp specifically. And it's just a, a beautiful, soulful tune. What is the one thing coming up in your schedule that you are most excited about? The end of lockdown is something which I'm obviously extremely excited about. But unfortunately, nobody's added it to my schedule yet. So please, someone add it to my schedule, then I can get really excited. Saying that, I'm actually really 
enjoying lockdown as well. So it's also giving me time to get in the studio more and go in there for no reason, actually, not to produce a remix which I've been commissioned, but actually just go in, go in there, research, mess around with synths, program sounds for no reason other than for the fun. A final message for the dedicated trans fans on the trans portal. Well, I hope you're having a safe time during this lockdown. I hope you're staying creative. I hope you're staying happy. I hope you're helping each other and I hope to see you at some point in the near future.